How's it going, everybody? Welcome to another episode from Reach for the Stars Nonprofit. My name is Carlos Aragon. I am your host today, and today we're going to be talking about using a GoPro as an all-sky camera. How cool is that? This is me and my fiance. We are the the founders, the CEO and COO of Reach for the Stars Nonprofit. We are the only nonprofit in the world that uses astronomy to have a positive impact on mental health, especially in youth. Um, Anyways, this is our backyard, and I've been seeing a lot of all-sky videos of meteors and the Milky Way and all this cool stuff, so I was really getting interested in wanting to to build one of my own. But a lot of people have their own, um, you know, ASI Air, Raspberry Pi, uh, home homemade enclosure systems that are just amazing that are connected to ethernet and all these things i don't have any of that um and i don't have any money to buy one we don't make any income in this nonprofit, so um you know unless someone donates us one or or we get a sponsor by a company we won't get one so this is the gopro hero 6 black this is the exact gopro that i have in my house and i did not even think about it until now um, of using this as an all sky camera. So I'm really excited to, to show you guys what I captured with it because this GoPro, it's not only good for all sky camera, but also daytime and you can bring it anywhere with you. It's the size of a, of a peach. Um, yeah, I've never compared anything to a peach before, but there you go. Uh, so this GoPro, it is waterproof up to 30 meters, which is crazy by its, you know, by itself. Um, so you can leave it outside in the rain, sleet, snow, anything, and it's going to be just fine. You can hook it up to an external battery. It's got 30 seconds of exposure maximum, or you can set it to, to auto. Uh, it goes up in, in increments of 5, so 5, 10, 15, 20, and 30 um, uh, second exposures. And it is always in focus. The GoPro is a focus at infinity. It is always in focus no matter what you point it at, near or far. Um, you can put micro SD cards in it. It's just not nice, a nice standalone little unit that you can use for many different things. Plus, the ISO goes from from 400 to 800, and um, and so it's really good at pulling out, you know, some details in the Milky Way, some nebula, uh, if you're lucky, but. I tested this thing and I wanted to compare it to some some of the cameras that you guys have, the typical ASI um, ASI cameras that are that are uh, mounted with a C mount lens, a wide angle C mount lens. And so, um, please send me what you've captured with your all sky camera, home built or not. Um, you know, I was expecting to get an image quality like this, which is actually pretty cool. But the GoPro does not have this wide of a field of view. Um, on the other hand, a positive for the ASI cameras, you can mount any lens you want to them. Um, so that's a positive right there. But the GoPros are outweighing everything in my situation right now. So we're going to test out the GoPro, and I'm super excited to show you what, what I got. The goal was to get an image quality like this. This is what I want. This is what I would be happy with. This is a frame taken out of my Canon T3i with a 14 millimeter lens um, on a star tracker, and I just love it. Of course, this is a stacked image, and <laughs> there's no way I'm going to get this quality out of an all sky camera, but we can try. Um, so, the first, very first step of this is testing out the GoPro. Um, so, without further ado, let me show you what I captured with the GoPro Hero 6 Black in my backyard.
I hoped you guys liked that. I was so excited when I saw these frames on my computer in the morning. You know, this is such a cool thing to be able to wake up with a buttload of images while you sip your coffee. Um, I was so impressed with the with the quality of of this six year old camera. What the heck? How come I I've never thought of this before? Has you know why aren't people talking about this? This should be on the news. Um, I just love it, and I'm very excited to figure out how to increase the quality, increase the the uh, the details. Um, and so, if any of you have any tips, please comment down below and let me know. Um, but if you have a GoPro at home, I urge you to set it outside for the night, put it on time lapse photo mode. Um, even these seven seven year old cameras have this feature and before that too I'm pretty sure so just try it out you never know what you're gonna find you might get some some decent time-lapse material like I did or you might get something terrible you might get something freaking awesome to share with the world um, but it's always fun to see what what goes what's happening over our heads at night while we sleep on our comfy pillows so everyone have a good week. I have a wedding to get to. It is my own. Tonight is rehearsal, so I have to be there in one hour. It's time to go. I'm your host, Carlos Aragon, with Reach for the Stars Nonprofit. I hope you all have a great week, and don't forget to look up.